So uh, at the last uh, uh, at the last symposium, 2014, we had um, uh, we had another case uh, operated on, and people will write on the evaluation form that they would like to see the follow-up of those patients, and um, I would like to show you the follow-up of the life surgery case of 2014. This was uh, it was a young lady, very young lady who had uh, congenital dislocation of the hip, which was uh, reduced open, and that was her follow-up image here. And she had pain on the left side. And again, she was one of those cases who had this very severe anti-torsion on her left side with um, an asphericity on the anterior portion, and she had a posterior inferior impingement. It's very similar to this case that we have seen today. She would end up with a, a an asymmetrical antitorsion, which was 43 degrees on the right side, which is still high, but which is, was excessively high with 77 degrees on the left side. And this was her preoperative internal rotation in prone position. So we had a lot of uh, internal rotation in prone position on her, the side that she was, uh, she was complaining at. This is her posterior inferior impingement conflict in external rotation, a little bit of flexion and uh, abduction. And this is how we, she was walking at that time, uh, with the left patella internally rotated. Some, some kind of in-towing also here on the left side. And she really had to move her knees around each other to go for a straight walk here. So this was our planning at that time. At that time, we planned to do an intertrochanteric osteotomy <coughs> with varization because there was also some kind of uh, necrotic or bad cartilage area in the medial portion, biosurgical hip dislocation, and in addition, to correct uh, the torsional deformity. That was the post-operative image from last time. This was the follow-up image after healing, and this was the follow-up image after removal of the hardware. And... Um, this was the follow-up regarding internal rotation on her left side, which was operated on. This was preoperatively, which was excessive, and this was postoperatively, which looks more normal right now. And she is uh, pain-free, and I'm glad that uh, she was sitting uh, in the audience the entire life surgery, and I'm glad to welcome you, Ms. Ubersax. That's our life patient from the last life <laughs> surgery. Thank you very much for being here. Flichtchen hat gerade eins mal hin und her laufen. Just, that's how she walks right now. Yes. Does anybody has a question to her? How about sports? Any sports? Machen Sie irgendwelche Sport? Nein. Also im Sommer, da wird ein bisschen joggen, aber es ist im Moment... Aber auch vor der Operation hat er auch Sport gemacht. Ja, joggen, yeah. nicht, nicht viel. Ja, yeah, so she hadn't done a lot of sports before and after surgery. But do you think you could do some... Ich hätte das Gefühl, ich kann nicht ein bisschen Sport machen. Ja. Yeah. Okay. Hm. She, would, she, she could do some sports, but she's not an extremely sporty patient. Okay. Hat er irgendwelche Schmerzen? Yeah, so she could feel the weather a little bit, but otherwise she's pain-free and she could profit from surgery. Okay, well, thank you very much for being here. We have a small little present for you. Okay, yeah. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much.